It is Matt Rogers. It is Stacy Becton Jr. along with Colin Smalls and Connor Nelson. For Duquesne, Trey Williams, Kevin Easley Jr., Primo Spears, Tyson Acuff, and Leon Ayers the third. Duquesne controls the opening tip with Duquesne working it around. It's Spears on that left wing. Spears around to Easley. Down into the block. That's Trey Williams. Spin move off the glass. It is up and good. And Duquesne strikes first with a layup by Kevin Easley. Love to see that right off the bat. The Dukes uh, getting down low. Nice lefty for the score. So Duquesne opens the scoring here. And American trying to answer, as we mentioned before, four-game losing streak for the Eagles. They're trying to snap that. They're working it around to get it inside. That is Matt Rogers' spin move. Off the back of the rim, no good. Bounces out to Duquesne, that's Acuff. Tyson Acuff in transition, driving the lane. Looking for Easley to kick it back out, but lost him, back comes American. A little bit sloppy there by Duquesne. Right off the bat, you want to get a jump on this team. They're down and you want to put them out if you can early. Johnny O'Neill inside to Matt Rogers. He's triple team back out to O'Neill for three. This one rims out. Pulled off the rim by Kevin Easley for Duquesne, and back comes Primo Spears. That was a great shot by O'Neill. Just didn't go down last year's Patriot League Rookie of the Year. Trey Williams driving. Left hand off the glass. It is up. Rolls around. No good, but he draws the foul. You know, he's picking up right where he left off down at the jam. The Paradise Jam has become something of a tradition as we look at uh, uh, Trey right there. 6'7", 250 sophomore. Again, soft around the rim right there with the left. Takes the hack, but really performed well, averaging over 14 points and uh, right rebounds with 11 total blocks down at the jam. That foul was called on Colin Smalls, the 6'2 guard, the sophomore. His first, American's first of the half as Williams misses the first attempt. Comes in averaging 72% from the free throw line. Williams converts the second half, and so far he is the lone scorer for Duquesne, and they've got a 3 0 lead. Bringing it up the floor, it's Colin Smalls, the sophomore from Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Rogers driving, looking for someone to pass to it. Stacy Becton Jr. inside, inside to Nelson. Back out. Rogers with 11 on the shot clock, running out of time. Back up to Smalls, four on the shot clock, driving the lane, left hand, it's mm. up and in. Nice drive there by Colin Smalls. Very nice, very nice. So American on the board now, 18.02 and counting to go in the first half. It's Tyson Acuff working it around to Primo Spears for the Dukes. Spears off the screen, pulls up for three left side, and. I don't think it touched anything. It's going to go out of bounds, and it'll be American ball. Now, Primo's only shooting 29% from the arc, and uh, that's one of the reasons. He's just not consistently been able to get the ball, uh, not just in the hole, but to the rim sometimes. Small's bringing it up for American, trailing by a point here. A few minutes into this game, driving the lane, Smalls kicks it out from the corner. It's Becton. That's good, and American takes the lead. Leads him with 13 points a game. As I said, 44% from the field. Two-time all-defensive player as well. So he'll play both ends of the court. You can't try and answer it. It's stolen by Beckton. Bring it back the other way. Trailed by, <laughs> trailed by Ayers, and he's going to put that in for a layup. So American back-to-back -back field goals here by Stacey Beckton, and they've got a 7-3 lead. Like I said, he's two-time all-defensive player, and he'll hurt you on that end as well. You said that coming, and it happened as soon as you mentioned it. Duquesne working in around the premier, from the perimeter, excuse me, Primo Spears. Off the screen. Easily pull up for the long jumper. That's off the rim. Rebounded by Beckton. Here comes American. Nelson, O'Neal swinging around, Matt Rogers. Over to Colin Smalls, the point guard. Off the screen, driving the lane. Left hand off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Rogers, still inside. Looking for somewhere to go. Puts it up, no good. Gets it back again. Rattles around, and Duquesne picks it up. Appreciate the fight in the young man. Only a second career start at 6-9 uh, out of Knoxville, Maryland. Williams driving off the glass and in. Trey Williams does it again for Duquesne. He's got five. He's shown you left, and he's shown you right hands. Very, very nice. So Duquesne cuts it to a two-point deficit. Williams has all five points for Duquesne in the early going. is Nelson for American, working it around to O'Neal. Over to Smalls, inside to Rogers. Defended by Williams, spin move, left hand, short hook, no good, rebounded by Easley. Good opportunity though. Here comes Kevin Easley Jr., handed off 
to Leon Ayers the third. Screen by Williams, driving the lane. Left hand off the glass, rims out no good, rebounded by Beckham. Here comes American. The Eagles lead here by two. Back up top to Nelson. Nelson taking the screen, looking to drive up the left side, pulls up. That one's no good. Primo Spears brings it down. Here comes Duquesne with numbers. Primo Spears driving to the rack. Left hand off the rim, no good, but draws the foul. And it looks like that's going to be on Primo Spears at the line, shooting two, converts the first one. That shades it to a one-point deficit. 15-25 to go here in the first half. Spears converts both, and we got a tie game. American inbounding. Stacy Becton, Jr., bringing it up for the Eagles. Duquesne going man-to-man -man defense here. It's Becton defended by Spears. It's over to O'Neal. Tosses it inside off the block, up and under with the layup. And that is number 13, Marvin Bragg, who checked in for American. So he checks in and quickly registers his first field goal of the game, and American gets the lead back. I've been used that much this year. Three games he's been in total. Stolen by Smalls. Here he comes the other way. Left hand off the glass. That bounces in, and just like that, American's got a four-point lead. Well, he's played very well. Let's be clear about that, Colin Smell Smalls. Absolutely. Leads his team in assists, by the way. Mm-hmm. It's also... Also scored a career high 12 points recently, but Trey Williams coming back. That's another field goal for him. He's got seven already in this first half, and Duquesne cuts it to two. Well, on his way to his average of 12, which is second on the team in scoring. Back comes Smalls the other way. Kicks it out in the corner. Nelson for three. There it is, and American extends their lead to five. Well, considering that uh, American came in only shooting 28%. 34 out of 122 from the three. That's mm. welcome. Duquesne with a fresh troop or two on the floor is Primo Spears. He's going to pull up for the long jump shot here. That's off the back of the rim and no good. It's Johnny O'Neill with the rebound for American. I have liked the pace of this game. A couple players have checked in for Duquesne. Toby O'Connor and Jackie Johnson the third. As American tries to expand this lead here. Stacy Beckton Jr. back up top to Colin Smalls. 12 on the shot clock. Becton. Spin move. Baseline. Mm. Blocked by Trey Williams. Williams has it off the floor, and here comes Primo Spears. It's four on four on the other end. Spears to Okani. Driving the lane. And he stuffs it home. Toby Okani checks in, and he throws one down for Duquesne. Lone returning starter, and boy, I tell you what, that's the type of thing you want to see a guy do at that moment when you've got a contest and it's coming off another block by uh, Williams. What a guy he's developing into. Look, the crossover and the drive to the lane. Colin Smalls, impressive show of agility there. And American brings it back to a five-point lead. Well, he's just put himself uh, in the uh, circle. In other words, you're going to see <laughs> Keith Damrod, Damrod do something about that at halftime. Jackie Johnson, the third for Duquesne, trying to drive here, and he's fouled on the floor. That's going to be on Colin Smalls. That's his second foul, so that's not good news for American. Mm -mm. Couple, no, he's been fantastic. A couple more players checking in for Duquesne. Austin Rotroff been with this program a handful of years. Leon Ayers the third also checks back in. Well, it's great to get uh, Rotroff back in the game. Uh, and I Absolutely. mean literally. He had that stress fracture. He's had some injuries in his career here. He's played now in his sixth game, and Duquesne knows they need him as they go deeper into this season. A couple reinforcements for American. Donatio Lorenzo, the sophomore guard, and also the freshman guard, Elijah Stevens. That shot by Johnson, no good. Rebounded by American, and it's Stevens, the freshman guard. Five foot nine, bringing that one down. Bragg hands off to Becton. Becton with the long three. That's good, and wow, American. They're out to an eight-point lead with 12.22 to go in the first half. I'm really digging what I see with Becton. I mean, I know I picked him, but it was just sort of like, well, he's their only player at times. And I'm not saying that disrespectfully, but my goodness, he's a good player. He's already touched the season average. He's averaging 7.8. He's got eight already in this first half. Duquesne looking to answer the lob pass into Okani. That's intercepted and brought back the other way. Here come the Eagles. Bragg, he's, his pocket's picked. Here they come. It's easily layup off the glass and in. And Duquesne stops that run quickly. It's 19 to 13. Tell you one thing, he scored in double digits five of six games. Uh, and I tell you, 
He had 19 against Colorado. We've seen him shoot outside, but nice play to the hoop. Spin move by Becton, driving the lane. This train, in a lot of respects, as the point guard. We see him playing some D right in front of us against the freshman. Hartford, Connecticut native, Primo Spears. This American trying to make something happen here. Elijah Stevens going to work it back around. Matt Rogers picks up the dribble. Along the baseline, long three from Nelson. This one no good. Gets his own rebound, drives it up, up and over the rim and in. So Connor Nelson working hard to follow his shot and expend it back to an eight-point game. I have to respect that big time. Spears bringing it up the floor for Duquesne. 10.43 and counting to go in this first half. Tyson Acuff driving baseline. Long pass into the corner, three-point attempt. No good. That was Leon Ayers the third, but rebound by Rotroff. Easily backing down his man. Long jumper from the baseline. That rattles around and in. Kevin Easley registers one for Duquesne. He's going to take that shot all day long, folks. But you got to give credit to Rotroff for getting that rebound and creating another possession. Easley, his second field goal of the half. This one on the floor. Duquesne looking for it. Easley's got it wrapped up. They're going to call jump ball. But Americans got the possession arrow, so they will retain. As Trey Williams checks back in for the Dukes. As Stacey Becton Jr. will check in for American as well. On the floor. I believe that was Rogers that was tangled up with mm -hmm. Kevin Easley Jr. Like I said, I mean he he paid well the last couple of days uh, uh, games uh, for uh, Rogers, but a, a player that really has only two starts and today's his second start. So you know those that's a work in progress. No, they brought back a lot of guys. I mean they brought back you know a bunch of newcomers, uh, six total, four transfers, but 80% of their scoring is back. The problem is they've got several guys that have been injured, just haven't had their ability to work all that together. And here's Rogers with the ball, swinging it over to Elijah Stevens. The freshman back nice. to Rogers, nice two man there, and he got tangled up underneath, and I believe that was Kevin Easley, who got off his feet a little bit too early, and they're gonna call him for a foul. Boy, I'll take well, that. Actually, wait a minute, there. they're calling offensive foul. Let's check it out here. Oh, wait a minute, there it is, an extra step there. They're gonna call it travel. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. missed that extra step. Yeah. There you go. You came with it trailing by six, 9.51 and counting to go in the first half. Driving the lane, mm. and off the rim and in. That was Leon Ayers the third, and he's going to try for a three-point play the old-fashioned way with a four-point deficit. Yeah, his first field goal and uh, first points for the game. I tell you what, I love going to the rim like this. He took on three defenders. Mm -hmm. Ayers the six-five junior out of Michigan. He's a transfer from Mercer. Leads this team in steals. He's also second in assists this season. And he converts the three-point play, and Duquesne has shaved this down quickly to a three-point deficit. Elijah Stevens for American. 5'9 freshman bringing it up the floor from Waco, Texas. Back to Matt Rogers, the sophomore, whom we've mentioned a lot so far today. Looking for Stevens, cutting to the basket, didn't happen, but it's picked up off the floor. That was Jason Notek who's checked in. American still holds the lead. Tyson Acuff to over to Leon Ayers. He was driving and got knocked away from him. Stacy Becton picks it up for America. Becton defended by Ayers. Over to Stevens. Back up top to Becton with 18 on the shot clock. Stevens pull up jumper from a long distance, almost to three, but it goes in. That's a long two. And Elijah Stevens comes in off the bench, and he's making a quick impact, Ellis. He is. I mean, you know, he's played in every game, and uh, he just hasn't started. But he's given him time, 16 minutes a game, and I like what I see of this kid. Seven-point lead for American, 825 and counting to go in the first half. Acuff driving. Didn't have it in his hands when he tried to go up off the, off the floor. Got knocked away from him. I believe it was Lorenzo who got his hands on it. Goes out of bounds, and Duquesne will retain with 13 seconds left on the shot clock. Primo Spears, who will inbound for Duquesne, as Toby O'Connor checks back in for Kevin Easley. But Primo Spears is your trigger man from just underneath the basket here. 13 seconds on the shot clock. O'Connor off the inbound. Wrestled in here with 
Becton. Yeah, he got tangled up, and they're going to call Becton for the foul. That's his second. Right. That's American's fifth well, of you, the first half. You know Becton's not going to have a problem playing D that tight. That, that's one of the things he loves to do. So now Duquesne will inbound again. This time they get 20. And it's Primo Spears controlling it near the top of the key. Duquesne trailing by seven, trying to get a bucket here. Acuff, down on the block to Trey Williams. Back and down Rogers, spin move off the glass, nice. up. No, oh. they're gonna call a travel, no basket. And this is a turnover and American will take possession. Okay, so with that foul, by the way, before the walk, Becton uh, committed his second, so mm -hmm. he's on the bench right now, and that's something they're gonna have to watch. Smalls has two, as you noted earlier, Josh. So they're going deep into their backcourt here. Almost more past halfway through this first half. Rogers in the post, back out. It's Lorenzo driving. Back out to Johnny O'Neill, back inside. Rogers in the block, spin move, hook shot. Off the rim, no good. Back comes Leon Ayers, the third. Duquesne needs a bucket or two. Spears driving baseline. Thought about the step back there. 16 on the shot clock. Ayers, with, Ayers for three. It's mm. good. And he cuts it to a four-point deficit with one stroke. Had 23 in his last game. He looks like he wants to pick right up where he left off. Rodgers and Williams. Oh, there was a... There's an expectation by the fans there for a call and didn't get it. They thought it was a, an over with the ball, but they didn't get it. Thought he palmed it. Three-pointer top of the key, no good. Rebounded by Toby O'Connor. And here comes Primo Spears in transition, crossing the timeline. 6.51 to go in the first half. Duquesne trails by four. Spin move by Spears. Floater, no good. Rebounded. Last four threes that they've shot, they've made. So they're a little herky-jerky right now, but they're in the game big time. Colin Smalls has checked back in for American. 6.31 and counting to go. So he's back there running the offense, right inside the paint. Off their glass and in. And once again, Marvin Bragg making an impact. He's got another bucket. So a six-point lead. Six-point lead for American, 29 to 23. Trey Williams backing down Brown. Oh! And they're going to call an offensive foul on Williams, and this is coming back the other way. Yeah, the first one, no. The second one, yes. In other words, there were multiple uh, assaults. Here's one. Okay, I could do that. Then, yeah, no. A lot of contact down low. You can only get away with it so many times, as yeah. you pointed out. I tell you what, every second right now that uh, Coach Brennan is, is getting this type of time and effort, uh, he's stealing minutes. He's, Absolutely. He's stealing time. And I think you mentioned it pretty well. This is a team that's been overcome with injuries quite oh. a bit in the past couple weeks. And to see this group not only having their starting guards in foul trouble, but getting these kind of contributions. Yeah, and they they got smoked by UMBC. But who doesn't give up a lot of points to UMBC? Uh, we can talk to Pitt about that. Maybe. They just gave up 87 to them last night. Mm -hmm. Small is driving for American. Spin, actually, a hook shot there off the glass. What? This one rattles around and in. Colin Smalls just showing all different kind of parts of his game. I'm digging him, man. Eight-point lead for American, 540 and counting to go in the first half. It's Jackie Johnson, the third, is checked back into Duquesne, passing it to Tyson Acuff. Lob opportunity, and they're going to say that Trey Williams put his hand on the ball while it was in the cylinder. So that's an offensive goaltend, and that bucket will not count. Great call. I mean, actually, it was an easy call, but, you know, I'm he called it. Acuff may be a little bit too close to the basket. Lobbed it a little bit too well. Mm -hmm. It is Colin Smalls controlling for American. They work it around here. Back to Smalls on the wing. Driving the baseline, kicks it back out. Top of the key, it's Lorenzo off the front of the rim. Toby Okani with the rebound for Duquesne. Here he comes. Working into the corner. They have eight cuff out third. here. Pardon me, so, pardon me so much. Williams once again near that baseline, backing it down again. Spin move towards the baseline. This one no good, but he does draw the foul. So Trey Williams, last couple times down the floor, a couple turnovers, but this time he's going to shoot two. Yeah, I mean, they're feeding them. Acuff 
point I was trying to make is he's out there by himself for every bit of 20 seconds there. And I thought they'd get it over to him for a shot. He's, he's had some issues from the field, but nonetheless, I think that he was there for the, for the ball. Duquesne hoping to chip into this eight point deficit with 4.51 remaining in the half. Williams with seven, three of three from the field. As that first one does not go. A couple reinforcements checking in for Duquesne Primo Spears returns, as does Kevin Easley Jr. Also checking in for American Matt Rogers, the sophomore forward from Maryland. He returns as well. Williams converts the second. So Duquesne gets a little piece of that deficit back in the seven point game. They've been stuck on 24 for a minute. Colin Smalls, he's been electric in this first half. Driving the lane, lost the basketball, and they're gonna say it's off his hands and Duquesne will take over off that turnover. So Colin Smalls, who's been doing quite a bit driving the lane, this time around couldn't hold on to the ball. Let's take a look at it here. Just simply lost the handle of it. Jackie Johnson, the third, controlling it for Duquesne. Trying to drive here, but a foul on the floor. And they're going to call, actually, it's going to be on Johnny O'Neill. You know, it, it, it is funny. We're looking at uh, Coach Brennan right there. As I said, he, he's he been around. Uh, he's had a great experience uh, in his career. Assistant at Princeton, American, and Georgetown before taking over uh, the uh, job. And now with 100 wins. Easily converts the first half of the one and one. Here's the foul again. There you see him tangled down low where O'Neill and Easley. Seven team fouls for Americans. So Duquesne shooting one and one now. Easily hits the first and he gets the second. So now we got a four point, oh, excuse me, a five point game. Colin Smalls for American. Trying to break this string for Duquesne. 4.20 to go in the half. Rogers handing it off to Smalls, driving the lane, off the glass. It is in, and he gets the foul. Back he comes. Colin Smalls, Ellis, he just will not go away. No, and he's really been a major storyline in this half. He's done it right-handed, left-handed, this time right down the right side of the lane, going strong. And I'll tell you what, he has certainly been impressive. His 10 points tied with Becton for the lead, shooting five of six from the field. Uh, that's pretty impressive. And he's converted most of those five inside the paint. Mm -hmm. Considering he came in shooting 35% from the field, it's been a good 20 minutes or so for him. Looking for a cherry on top here to complete the three-point play. And that will not convert as Leon Ayers the third controls for Duquesne. Seven-point lead for American. Nearly four minutes remaining in the first half. Jackie Johnson the third. Long three-pointer, and it's good. We're got it. We've got a four-point game now. Jackie Johnson dialed one up from deep. Well, I mean, again, if he's not shooting from the bus with regularity, something's wrong. <laughs> and he's digging it, man. I'm telling you, he's shooting like 50 50 percent or so, nine of 20 from the three ball, and he's just been instant offense. Certainly coming off the bench against Weber State. He saw that one get launched from Plus. <laughs> Down inside, that's Lorenzo. He gets knocked off the spot. And an extra step, they're going to call him for a travel to pass it inside. That's intercepted. Coming back the way is Jason Notak driving the lane. Off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Rotra. Here comes Primo Spears. Ahead to Ayers. Back out to Johnson. Fakes the three, goes baseline. Looks like Duquesne's going to try to reset here. Mm -hmm. as Johnson goes the length of the baseline. Back up top to Spears. 17 on the shot clock. Spears top, stop and pop. No good. Rebounded by Rogers for American. This pull-up is one of his strengths. He's a bit off today. And he stopped that motion dead on the floor. Mm -hmm. One of five from the field for Primo. American working it around. Lincoln Ball, who's checked in for the Eagles, out there on the perimeter. Donatio Lorenzo inside the Rodgers. Looking, they put it up. Defended by Rochoff, no good. Scramble on the floor, and here comes Leon Ayers the third. Johnson thought about another long three, but he was met near the perimeter, and that was Elijah Stevens that made contact. They're going to get him for that foul. Getting time here with Johnson and Rotroff here. And he's just, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> it was, it, there was contact. Was it foul-worthy contact? Right, Probably right, right. debatable, but the home fans here won't argue because that's no, a one-and-one. One. No, that, that's just some contact is light, 
and some is a little bit not light, but that was light. <laughs> not all contact is created equal, right? <laughs> <laughs> all I know is Mike Brennan's probably saying that. Johnny O'Neill checking in for the Eagles as Jackie Johnson the third, the freshman from Wichita, Kansas, he's gonna shoot a one and one. Actually, a couple more checking in for American. It is that starting backcourt return. Stacy Becton Jr. had two fouls. He's back in, and so is Colin Smalls. He's been in and out the past couple minutes. You know, one thing we haven't talked about with Becton because he's been out is, you know, this guy's ability to block shots is another thing that's very underrated. Johnson misses the first half of the one and one. See, uh, that emerges through this game. And it is Becton controlling for American. Rogers has been in that high post throughout this first half so far. Smalls inside to Becton. There's a foul on the floor. It looks like they're going to get Primo Spears for that one. That was a good call. Reached around. So what do you think? I mean, there's two minutes to go. We've got a four-point game, and you're bringing Becton in with a couple of uh, fouls. A little it, aggressive? A little bit. If you're going to try to expand that lead, I guess now would be the time. As they work it inside, Colin Smalls in the block in the post. <laughs> Becton in the corner for three. That's good, and there you go. They're trying to find an answer. Jackie Johnson, the third. Double screen here. Easily into the corner. Ayers for three. Off the front of the back of the rim. Rotroff with the hustle effort for the rebound, and he draws the foul on Matt Rogers. Austin Rotroff, what a play to try to retain possession for Duquesne. I'm going to call that pretty impressive. I mean, literally, he threw it back into play while he was falling backwards. Look at this. You called it a hustle play. That's a definition. Now, Matt Rogers, he, he may have a case here. Now, he, he's going to have to sit down because I believe Rogers, that's his, I believe that's his second foul. But Matt Rogers could have made a case for an over the back, but he didn't get it. As Rotroff makes the first end of the one and one. Yeah, and he's been real spotty in those five games that preceded today or six games now where his free throws have been not what we saw earlier in his career. That's actually his first of the season. He was 0 for 8 entering this game. I, there we go. And he makes the oh, second right. as well. All right. So Austin, to work. Austin Rotrov with some creative and impressive hustle, as you mentioned. Gets a rebound and turns it into two free throws and cuts this to a five-point game with 144 left in the first half. That just, that's really nice to see. That kid's gone through a lot. Jason Notek inbounding for American. Almost ran out of time there, but he got it to Colin Smalls. Here he comes up the floor. O'Neal to Notek, swinging it around back to Smalls. 20 on the shot clock. Marvin Bragg trying to work mm. it inside. Primo Spears broke it up. Nice play. Ayers to Spears. Here he comes. Crossover and a pull up. And the jumper is good. Primo Spears with another stop and pop. He cuts it to three. Now that's the stop and pop we were talking about him being good at. So Duquesne trailing 36-33, minute and seven and counting. No tech on the wing for American. Up top to Johnny O'Neill swinging around to Smalls. Down to Bragg. Into the lane. Up and under. Off the rim, no good. Rebounded. That was Leon Ayers to third. Here he comes. He's going to drive. Left hand off the glass and in. Duquesne cuts it to one. Less than a minute to go, 42 seconds to be exact. American needs a bucket, Duquesne needs a stop. Stacy Becton Jr. defended by Tyson Acuff. Becton gets the screen. 12 on the shot clock. American looking for an open shot here. Smalls off the screen, no space. Top of the key, three-pointer, no good. Tipped back oh. out, American retains. Another shot attempt, no tech. Shot no good, but a foul is called. So Jason Notek is going to go to the line and shoot two. Give us some love to Marvin Bragg, though, man. Was Bragg the guy that got, got the uh, offensive rebound I believe off the miss? He's the one that tapped it out. Look at this. They get Austin Rotroff for the foul. That is Rotroff's first. As Jason Notek, the senior from River Falls, Wisconsin, will shoot two. Seeing some really good effort today. So big miss there as the fans here voice their approval. Two more check back in for American. It's Donatio Lorenzo, the sophomore, and once again, Elijah Stevens, the point guard. He's going to check back in for Colin Smalls. Second end 
of two shots here for Notek. American a one point lead. He converts the second, so we got a one bucket game here. 15.9 seconds to go in the first half. Spears, Primo Spears from Hartford, Connecticut bringing it across for the Dukes. They're looking for one shot. Six seconds to go. Spears drives. Three pointer top of the key. Mm. It's good! Right before the buzzer. And Duke Ayers, he drives. Off the glass. Actually, that wasn't off the glass. That was just in the air, and it drops right in. Well, right off the bat, we saw what you're just asking. What, what are they going to do? How about four or five touches? You know? Impressive, impressive drive there by Leon Ayers, the third. American trailing by three. This hasn't happened a lot in this game. Duquesne only let two minutes of the first half. Primo Spears with the steal. Good defense there. Brings it back the other way. Driving the lane. Off the glass and in. Primo Spears. Gets the steal and turns defense into office, and Duquesne leads by five. And he's really coming on right now. Mike Brennan has seen enough tape to know anytime he gets the ball with a step on somebody like that, he's going to go right to the rim. Meanwhile, Colin Small is the point guard for American. He's been impressive in this game as well. American working it around. That's Lorenzo driving. His shot's no good. Here comes Primo Spears. Gets it ahead. That's Tyson Acuff. He's going to slow it down, and Duquesne will reset. Spears with 22 on the shot clock. Nice pass inside to Williams. Off the glass, no good, but he draws the foul. And Trey Williams did a lot of this in the first half, and he's going to go back to the line and shoot two more. Yeah, this is something that, you know, is a, just a huge piece of what the preseason look was for Keith Dambrot. And he knew he had to remake uh, uh, the inside part of his game. You know, he's still waiting. Uh, as a matter of fact, he got a taste of uh, one of the guys that he really wants out there earlier uh, this last game or two, R.J. Gunn. But, you know, he knows that that part of the game is different than it was with Marcus Weathers, different than it was with Michael and Michael Hughes. Mm. Now it's a, it's, a, it's a less physical maybe, but m a little bit more athletic. And that's what he's looking to see develop. And this guy is developing. Williams converts one of the two free throw attempts, but that extends the lead to six for Duquesne. By the way, that foul was on Donati Lorenzo, his first, American's first. And Lorenzo controls it right now for the Eagles. Looking for someone to pass to when to go inside to Matt Rogers. Defended by Williams. Nice backdoor pass to O'Neal, but knocked away. They get it back into the corner. That's Smalls mm. for three, and Colin Smalls picks up where he left off, or I should say where he left off, and American cuts that deficit in half. Six of eight from the field, 13 for the game. Really strong performance for him. Primo Spears driving the lane, pulls up. Just off the rim, and it rolls off, and Johnny O'Neal with it for American. He gets it over to Stacey Becton, Jr., who's also been really effective for this American team. O'Neal for three. Mm. That's no good. Back comes Tyson Acuff. Little handoff. Ayers for three. Bounce off the rim, no good. Nice fighting inside for the rebound. That was Trey Williams. He pulls it down, and he draws yet another foul. Mm. That's effort. That's going to be on O'Neal. Johnny O'Neal, his second. Watch it again here. He was tangled up with two players. He was hanging over Rodgers and O'Neal, but O'Neal made the contact. They're going to call the foul on the floor. And Williams off the inbound. Back and Rodgers down. Hook shot. Off the rim, no good. Rodgers has the rebound for American. Good defense. It's Becton. Rodgers looking to move it around here. It's American sets up their offense. Lorenzo, the sophomore from Rome, Italy. Becton looking back door to Johnny O'Neal. He's going to go right back up top. And eight seconds left in the shot clock. Becton's got to figure something out here. Off the spin move, up and off the glass, no good. And they're going to call a foul. This is going to be on Tyson Acuff. And his question is, how? <laughs> Let's take a look at it. Oh, I think he's put the hip into him, maybe. I mean. I mean, Acuff looks like he might have left his feet, but that was, I, I can see why Tyson Acuff might have a case. Mm -hmm. Becton shoots two. Stacey Becton Jr., the 6'4 senior guard from Daytona Beach. As you mentioned it before, Ellis, Patriot League all defensive team twice. Back-to-back mm -hmm. -back seasons, and he converts both ends, and now it's a one-point game. Primo Spears controlling it for Duquesne. 
17-02 to go in the latter half of this game. A couple of deflections there, and it gets over to Leon Ayers the third. In the paint, up and under. Nice. Oh, rims out. And American controls. Lorenzo for the Eagles. Over to O'Neal. Rogers to Becton with 18 on the shot clock. Americans spreading it out here around the perimeter. They trail by one. Colin Smalls, who's been really, really efficient in this game. Lost it. Mm. Here comes Ayers. Coming back the other way, two on one. Primo Spears back to Ayers. Layup is good. Nice transition game by Duquesne. And Ayers draws the foul. Great defense turning into offense. Well, exactly right. How about that for an assist, huh? Uh, that was pretty impressive. Just a touch pass right in the middle of the lane. Boom, boom, bang. Got to love the touch pass there from Primo Spears to set up Ayers. By the way, is really coming on. I mean, and I'm not just saying obviously in this game, but 21 minutes, 12 points, 5 of 10 from the field, and uh, just improved the numbers there. He converts the other end. By the way, Stacy Beckham Jr., that's his third foul. Keep an eye on that. Yep. Colin Smalls, who also has two for American. They trail by four now. Inside the block to Rogers. Backing down Williams. Hook shot. Mm. And he knocks that one in from short. So the sophomore forward out of Maryland continuing to contribute for this Eagles team. And they now trail by two. Yep. He's got three, uh, three rebounds in his first bucket right there, but it's not without trying. One of six, and I think that that was as smooth a shot as you're going to see for a kid that size. Primo Spear, stop and pop. Off the rim, no good. Collision in air there for the rebound. O'Neal gets it for controls from American over to Donatio Lorenzo. Colin Smalls has been really good in this game for American. Backdoor pass there. Matt Rogers was looking for Becton Jr., but a little bit too much on it, and that's going to Mm. Go out the back end, and that's a turnover for American. So Duquesne will get possession here with a two-point lead, 15-20 to go in regulation. As the Dukes look to improve that record. Last time out, they beat Bradley 78-70. It was one of their better shooting, actually their best shooting night of the year so far. Kevin Easley Jr. over in the corner to Leon Ayers the third. 18 on the shot clock for Duquesne. Spears back up top. Ayers driving, floater, good. Duquesne up four. What a shot there by Leon Ayers the third. I'll tell you what, he's really, as I said, developing in so many different ways. His confidence is running right through the ceiling. Steal here by Acuff. Here he comes, loose ball all alone. And he throws it down. Duquesne's up by six. Just like that, couple easy buckets and Duquesne extends the lead. I think Acuff. He's thinking, okay, if you guys are going to get me the ball in rotation, I'll just do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And another one knocked away. Acuff, he was almost full speed going back down the way, and his teammates are applauding. They understand yeah. and appreciate the effort. Yeah, check it out. Here there's, we go. There's the steal for the one-handed slam. Great defensive effort by Duquesne, and they've stepped it up here, especially at that latter part of the first half, coming into the second half, they have really stepped up the defensive intensity, and it's turned into offense. See, this is when your color analyst offers, see, that was man v. steel and man won. <laughs> okay? That's my analysis. Is that okay? That, that's expert analysis. Thank you very much. Back in in the block, up and under. Off the rim, no good. Gets his own rebound, and they're going to say Duquesne knocked it away from him. So American retains possession here with 19 seconds on the shot clock. Trailing Duquesne, 50 to 44. Not a good time for the uh, American to sort of not shoot the ball real well. They haven't uh, scored in the last two minutes or so. 16 on the shot clock here. Elijah Stevens works it down to Matt Rogers. Spin move, hook shot, no good. Rebounded. That was Leon Ayers the third. Here comes Duquesne. Six point lead. Easily for three. That one's good. And it's a nine-point lead. Kevin Easley Jr. decided let's pull up for let's pull up for three from the from yeah. the top of the key there. And just what's, make it work. What's wild is that's only his first lost possession, but he gets it back. But more defense here for Duquesne. They get they convert another steal, bring it back the other way. 13-17 and counting to go in regulation. Duquesne leads 53-44. 
Spears to Easley. He hit one from there earlier. This one got deflected. Good job by Jason Notek from American. He knocked that one away. Hey, he's from North Dakota State, cuz. He knows. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means. I tell you what, there's some numbers that are adding up bad for America. Back door to Notek, and he's going to lay this one in. Good hustle by him, and good job by Beckton to find him. Seven-point game. That's what I, <laughs> That's important, because there was a 10-2 run for Duquesne over three and a half minutes. It coincided with a two and a half minute scoreless streak for America. So that was very timely. A cuff near, near the top of the key, the long two off the front of the rim. Stacy Becton Jr. with the rebound for American. Trying to cut into this seven point lead. 12.27 to go in regulation. Eagles working around to the corner. It's Rogers, 15 on the shot clock. Stolen mm. by Primo, here he comes. Three on two, Spears, layup by Acuff. And Duquesne converts once again, defense into offense, and they extend it back to a nine point game. So once again, I'm watching Keith Dambron, and it's not always the obvious thing that you know he sees. He sees something with Easley way behind over here, still in the defensive end, and he was cheering him on after the basket. Colin Smalls pulls up for that jump shot. Anytime he's shooting at Ellis, more often than not, it's going in. He's been incredibly efficient. Oh, yeah, yeah, he has been. Uh, so, in other words, that's where you want to see the tape because Easley did something that set everything up for what happened on the offensive end. Primo Spears trying to retain possession here. Works it down into the block. That's Trey Williams backing down Rodgers. Oh. Up and under. Scoop shot. It's good. There's Trey Williams working the block again. Duquesne keeping that lead out in front. Back to nine. An American with 11-14 and counting. Trying to find a way to chip back into it. Colin Smalls trying to drive the lane here. How he got that pass back out, I will never uh, know. He's been doing that a lot today. Well, when you when you have lower post game, you can do things like that. <laughs> Matt, Matt Rogers backing down Williams, trying to return the favor. Hook shot off the glass and in, and he does return the favor. These two have gone back and forth in the paint. And Mike Brennan calls the quick timeout with 10.52 to go in regulation. Duquesne leading American 57 to 50. We will take a break here. We'll be right back from the UPMC Cooper Fieldhouse. You're watching Atlantic 10 Men's Basketball on ESPN+. Plus. Welcome back to UPMC Cooper Fieldhouse on the Duquesne University campus. Duquesne leading American 57 to 50. And if you're looking for something to cheer for on a Sunday afternoon, this might be your place. Just <laughs> pointing that out. Because if you're looking for entertainment elsewhere, you might not be satisfied. I'm just pointing that out. Josh Taylor <laughs> with the apoplectic Ellis Cannon over here. I love it. Worth mentioning. I, just saying. I, I, I like the just very casual. Just pointing it out. Not, not anything specific that might be an, enter an entertainment product available for you right now. We're a full service broadcast. That's exactly right. <laughs> Primo Spears bringing it up the floor for Duquesne. As they'll try to extend this lead. Acuff, the lob pass. Look oh. at this one. Primo Spears off the lob from Tyson Acuff, and it's a nine point game again. Well, I'm liking Acuff today. This has been. A really good showing of athleticism from Duquesne. Yes, it has. I, I, and you're starting to see what Keith's wanted. Maybe those three games down there in the islands. Again, you're together. You're alone. You're preparing. Another together. steal from Duquesne. Here they come. Primo Spears takes it himself. Look at the reverse layup. It didn't go. But that was pretty nifty play. But once again, they rattled it around and picked up another loose ball. The defensive intensity has totally picked up for Duquesne. Yep. O'Neal for three from the wing. That's nice. good. He was wide open, and American converts on the easy look. So we're back to a six-point game. You know, he's, he shoots nearly 40% from the three, and, you know, for 6'9", he's, he's got a nice stroke. Trey Williams. He's been down on that block most of the day, and he's backing down. Marvin Bragg, spin move off the glass mm. and in. Trey Williams does it again. He's got 13. But did you note there that Bragg was uh, defending Trey, but 14, Johnny O'Neill was coming on the other side, the backside, trying to mm -hmm. sneak a block in. Couldn't get it. Bragg, meanwhile, works it around here to Elijah Stevens. 
Stevens driving, looking for someone to pass to 11 on the shot clock. Smalls, O'Neal, another three attempt, this one short. Rebounded by Leon Ayers the third, and he was met by a body as soon as he came down with it. That is Jason Notek, excuse me, Jackson Notek, the senior from Wisconsin. I believe that is his first foul. And that is the 14th foul for American in this half. But Jackson Notek, as soon, as soon as he came down with the rebound, Notek met him right there and made contact, and he's actually going to check out. I tell you what, I, I, I have no problem on Neil taking that second shot right there. I yeah. mean, you know, he's feeling it. He's got a nice shot. He had an open look. It was an open said, look. He's a 38% you know, field goal shooter, and he's about 33 from the three, so take it. Primo Spears pulls up from three off the back of the rim, tapped around, and American's got it. Colin Smalls with it. American trying to chip into this lead. He's wing it, swinging around. Stacy Becton Jr., who's been one of the big scorers for American. He pulls up long two. That's off the back of the rim. Here comes Primo Spears for Duquesne. Ahead to Rotroff. All alone off the glass and in. Good transition work for Duquesne. And we've got a 10-point game. Yeah, transition is really defining this game, isn't it? It really has, especially in this second half. And that has caused Duquesne to open up a sizable lead here. Double digits now over the American Eagles. Elijah Stevens, backdoor pass for Bragg, knocked away by Primo Spears, another big defensive play. Rotroff picked it up, gives it back to Primo. He's going to drive, and he's met on the floor there by Elijah Stevens. They will catch him with that foul on the floor. I believe that is Stevens' second foul. And we will take a break here. Spears was the inbound guy here to Kevin Easley Jr. Running floater, Kevin Easley. He extends it to 12. You know what? You're getting a feeling right now. This has a vibe of everybody wants some, <laughs> doesn't it? Now, here's Becton. You know how much I was on him in the first half, loving him. He had 13 at halftime. He's got 15 now. Well, we're coming up to Thanksgiving holiday, so apparently everybody eats. That's exactly right. They, they obviously centered on focusing on him, and uh, Connor Smalls had 10. Now. Matt Rogers wow. wide open underneath for the two-handed slam. Gotta love that. Good ball movement from American, and Rogers just found a lot of open space in the paint. Cut it to 10. I love that pass. But, you know, th they have gotten more defensive on three and also on Becton. Ramo Spears controlling in here. Gets the screen from Rotroff. Oh, lob no. pass. There it goes. Toby O'Connor. And another lob converted for Duquesne. They did one late in the first half, and now they're just letting it fly. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's a Marte parte at this point. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he just signed with the Mets. He sure did. He just cashed in. Rogers in the block for American, kicks it back out. O'Neal top of the key for three. This one rims out. Kevin Easley with the rebound. Here comes Primo Spears in transition. Not slowing down, driving the lane. Left hand off the glass, no good, but he draws the foul. So he's going to go to the line to shoot two, but Primo Spears, he had no signs of slowing down. Yeah, I, I have to tell you, you know what I think right now American needs more than anything is, is a musical interlude. Now, <laughs> now, now hear me out. The, Mason Whitaker can play the harmonica. Christian Sutton can play the guitar. And Lincoln Ball, I believe the transfer, can play the ukulele. Right now, a lot of things aren't working. Hmm. Maybe it's time to bring out a set. It's very philosophical from you. Thank you. Zen-like, wasn't it? <laughs> Oh, wow, Primo Spears actually uh, misses both of that two-shot foul. Just got word here. Primo Spears, his six steals, only one shy of the school record. That's shared by six different players, so we'll keep an eye on that. Yep. Rodgers for the long two, and that goes. So we're back to a 10-point game with 6-18 remaining in regulation. Primo Spears controlling for Duquesne. They're trying to close this one out, get their second win in a row. Tyson Acuff, Rotroff, back around to Spears. Off the screen, Rotroff. Up off, Look, looks like he was trying to put that off the glass, but it was knocked away from him and deflected. Here comes Colin Smalls, behind the back, okay. and blocked. That was Kevin Easley, he blocked the shot attempt by O'Neal, but not without a little bit of sauce on this one. Watch this pass How by about Colin this? Smalls. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know. They get easily for the foul here. That's his first. Yeah, every every game it seems shoot two. that Duquesne has played, I, I, at least that I've seen and called, 
I'm going to follow these teams through the season. Hmm. You know, this team is going to get better because they're going to get more guys back, and I like some of their skill. Um, I, I, Hofstra, you got to watch because of Brandon Cooks. Okay. Okay. Weber State, you have no problem finding them because they're going to be in the Sweet 16. More okay. than likely. They're going to be a tournament team. And and I just think that these have been really good non-conference games against some teams. Like, like this team's going to do well in the Patriot League. O'Neal makes one of two. By the way, Leon Ayers the third, and Trey Williams check back in for Duquesne. With less than six minutes to go. Primo Spears controlling it for the Dukes. 16 on the shot clock. Easily to Williams oh. off the glass. Oh, rimmed out. Loved his hands there. Down. Loved his hands there. Good exchange. Mm -hmm. Smalls. Lorenzo works it back around. Beckton for three. That one's no good. Lorenzo with the rebound. He's He misses the putback. And they're going to say it's off American and it's Duquesne ball, but nice sequence there by American. Good effort to try to get a bucket there. Just couldn't get it to go down. Mm -mm. Trail by nine. That would have been a really good way to chew into this deficit, no but they just couldn't get it to go. Primo Spears controlling for Duquesne now. Duquesne trying to improve to three and four, as is American. Both teams with identical two and four records here. Ayers, long two. That one's good. Leon Ayers, the third, continues to just be efficient in scoring. He's got 17 in this game. He finds holes. He finds holes. And right there, he was in midair, and it just felt like he just took a little off of that shot. Beautiful. Wonderful touch there for him. O'Neal driving for American. Look at the stop and pop turnaround. Nice right. shot there by Johnny O'Neal. I'm telling you, I'm digging this guy. That's impressive. Nine-point game. Yeah. So Primo's given his flashes. Uh, Ayers is given his flashes. We've talked about Kenny Williams getting it flashes. I mean, that's that's what you really want to see, or Keith Dambrot wants to see. Outstanding balance. Mm -hmm. Williams in the paint, trying to keep that balance going, and scoop shot goes over the back of the backboard. So that's going to be American possession here. Not even mentioned easily. He's got 11. Ayers now up to 17. You have four players in double figures for Duquesne. Right, right. They were like that, I believe, in the game that they played, the final jam game. And getting a lot of guys in double digits says all you need to know about balance. Meanwhile, American in this first half were showing a lot of the same things, both depth and balance. But Duquesne has since really taken over here. Lorenzo for three. That one goes in, and we've got a six-point game now. So American still shooting from behind the arc, and they finally get one to go in. Hold the phone. Two possession game. Primo off the handoff. It's easily turning jump shot. Mm. Wow. Kevin easily. Just a turning jumper. How smooth was that one? Jamie Dixon smiling somewhere. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what, that turnaround for him is money. It's becoming a shot. Bragg down low for American. Misses but gets his own rebound. Becton trying for it. This one's off the rim and it rolls in. Impressive effort by Stacey Becton Jr. to cut this to six points. And Bragg as well, right? Absolutely. You called that. Good effort by both men. 3.05 and counting to go in regulation here. Duquesne leading by six. Primo Spears off the screen. He puts a floater up. He puts one in. We are seeing some outstanding shooting from Duquesne here. I mean, Duquesne shot 59% in the first half of the field, 57 for the second half. I mean, Duquesne, that's been, there's been a bit of a, there's been a lot of days where that's not been the case. Reverse layup attempt there by Lorenzo is no good. Rebounded by Easley, and Primo Spears is going to slow it down. Eight point lead, two and a half minutes left. They can take their time. Keith Danbrot, you can see him there giving out instructions to his troops. Oh! Oh, that was a drive there to the corner, but they're going to call a foul on the floor, so no basket. Impressive shot there, though. And we're going to get a call here. I believe that's on Stacy Beckton Jr. That's a 10-point lead here. They're going to try to protect it with about two minutes remaining in regulation. And American now down their biggest score. Matt Rogers off the glass and in. So... Rodgers comes back quickly, 
He's been one of their most active guys in this game. Yes, he has. I... Primo Spears controlling for Duquesne. 10 points in 26 minutes for Rogers. Very efficient for him. As you mentioned, his second career start. Yeah. Sophomore out of Maryland. This is, this is an impressive American team, as you've talked about. They've shown some flashes of how they can really make some things happen in the Patriot League. A foul on the floor here. That's going to be on Elijah Stevens. It's his third. Duquesne's going to get a fresh uh, opportunity here to add to that total. Another one-and-one one attempt for Primo Spears. Well, I can't lie. I, 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 I like Ryder. In, in the opening game, Ryder gave Duquesne a run in that game. And of course, the game ahead was is Bowling Green on Wednesday. Meanwhile, Duquesne, I mean, you mentioned it, Bowling Green coming up here Wednesday. And after that, they're on the road against Marshall as Spears converts both of those. And Primo Spears now takes over the lead in scoring in this game for both sides. Inside Rogers, off the glass, that one goes in. So Matt Rogers, 118 to go in regulation. Duquesne still with a 10 point lead. As Stevens will bring it up the floor for the Eagles. Smalls in the corner. Long two from baseline, and he gets that one to go. Colin Smalls, despite trailing here late in the half, Colin Smalls has been really, really good in this game. He's got 17 and another foul here. Uh, you know, after the game against US, uh, UMBC, whatever, um, they, meaning uh, American, they, they just couldn't defend. They shot like 70% from the three. I'm not making this up. Right. And so for the game. And I, I watched about a one or two minute interview with Brennan, and he was visibly dejected over what he saw defensively and said this is what happens when you have injuries and you can't do things. Leon Ayers the third converts both ends of the one and one so Duquesne maintains that 10 point lead. Colin Smalls brings it across the timeline. O'Neal from the corner. Oh! Three pointer from Johnny O'Neal. He keeps firing and they keep going in. Off the inbound. Leon Ayers Jr. He's fouled by Matt Rogers and he's going to go to the line. And now they're in the double bonus, so we've got two from here on out for Duquesne. And, and that's I, exactly the case for Leon Ayers the third. Right, pardon me. I, I just don't think that Mike Brennan walks away as dejected as he seemed to be the other night. I, I really think there's some things that he could build off of and, and not have to try to sell his guys. I think his guys saw that they had a much better effort defensively, and, and certainly um, they had some moments offensively that they could build off of. To your point, they're shooting 54% from the floor, 47% right. from three for this game. I mean, come on. Meanwhile, both free throws for Ayers are good. They so came, got a nine point game. They came in shooting 42%, allowing 50%. Stevens in the corner to Smalls. Three pointer from the corner, that one goes. Colin Smalls, he just will not quit and neither will American. They're down six and Smalls is the one called for the foul here. And Leon Ayers, the third, will go back to the line. Uh, in this, this past couple minutes here, Leon Ayers, the third, and Primo Spears have just been trading free throws, and they're back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Both men have 21 points. There we go. <laughs> Funny how that works. So Duquesne, four scores in double digits. That's Ayers' 22nd point. Spears with 21. And then Kevin Easley, Jr., and Trey Williams both with 13 for the Dukes. Made this season together for Keith Danbrod. It may be a special thing for him. Yeah, I, I think you're absolutely right. Duquesne leading by eight, 36 seconds to go here. Elijah Stevens pulling up for the short shot. No good, rebounded by Easley. He's fouled. Jackson Notek got a couple hands on him, so Easley will shoot two. And this is pretty much going to be the, the procedure here for these remaining 30 seconds. Yeah, I think we're just going to watch them go left to right. We've been watching them go right to left, left to right, a little quicker um, than, than we have in the last two minutes, but that's that's a, that's a deal. So Kevin Easley, one of four players in double figures, scoring for Duquesne. That is his 14th point. He's he's had a pretty efficient night, five of seven from the floor, mm -hmm. one of two for three, and on the second end of these two. 
And this is the back end. He's three of four from the line with six rebounds as well. And look at the offensive rebound comes right into Tyson Acuff's hands. So that one falls right for Duquesne, and then he gets fouled. Elijah yeah. Stevens, that's his fifth foul, so he will be done. You know, Acuff, Okani, they've given them moments that they, they filled some nice holes, mm -hmm. if, if that makes sense. I mean, we talked about, you need all these guys. But, but, but you know, they, they made some plays and, uh, and so forth. But they also, they did some of the dirty things. And, you know, there's, there, there's a need for that. There's a role for that. Elijah Stevens fouls out. Uh, played 19 minutes for American. Four points with two assists. Tyson Acuff makes both ends of those two. So Duquesne now leading by 11. They're going to improve to three and four on the season as Colin Smalls drives in with the easy layup. But now back-to-back -back wins for Duquesne. And we talked about it. Both of these teams went through four-game losing streaks. American, meanwhile, is going to go to a five-game losing streak after Duquesne. And you talked about the Paradise Jam that time down in the Virgin Islands, and they've come out of it with back-to-back -back wins here at UPMC Cooper Fieldhouse.